Water, 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 water. Oh, and let it roll. Hi, furries. Hi, furry. So much lipstick. Hi guys, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be doing my IMAT slash New York City haul. I, l I just came back last night. Uh, me and Rachel, Rachel B15, you guys will have seen her extensively throughout my vlog that I have already uploaded. It's my last video. If you want to see it, I'll link it below. Um, and I'm going to link her below. But she and I just came back yesterday, last night in fact, from New York. Uh, we spent two nights there. We drove in on Friday kind of like early afternoon, got there around like 1.30, and um, stayed until probably almost 6 on Sunday, so we had an absolute ball, did vlog it, and I will link that video below. I have a lot of stuff, and I, um, I for the sake of not having like an hour long video, I'm going to just dive right in, so get ready, and I'm going to go in order of things that were purchased, you know. So the first thing actually is a gift that Rachel gave. She knows how obsessed I am with the NARS lip lacquers, and they're impossible to find because they're discontinuing them, which upsets me deeply. But she actually got me Baby Doll, which um, is like a light, kind of really pretty pink that's coming across darker on camera than it does um, in real life. But it's, a, it's more peachy than that. I don't know why that's coming across so purple. Let me try something. That's still coming across like a lot rosier than it really is, but whatever. So Baby Pink, she got me, which thank you so much, Rachel. She knows how much I love these, and I, for the life of me, cannot find them. That was a really lovely way to start my our vacation. So that was the first thing I got. So the first place that we stopped at was Mac. It was actually it was the Mac Pro Store, um, which is kind of buried, like hidden away on the second floor in the Flatiron District. So we managed to find it after asking like three different stores. But um, Rachel is a huge MAC girl. She does a lot of bridal makeup, so she does a lot of color matching. And MAC is really good for that. So I was kind of following her suit on a couple of um, items because like I really, she knows what she's, she knows exactly what to get and like what she's, what's hard to find and whatnot. But um, then there are a couple things that just really caught my eye. And there have been a couple things that I've been wanting to get for a while. Uh, I think two things I couldn't get, and then one thing I think I can get here. But anyway, it just, it kind of let me dip my toe in the water a little more than I have done in the past with MAC. So the first thing I got um, was the MAC Full Coverage Foundation, and this is in the color NC35, which if you guys don't know, I self-tan most of the time, and very rarely am I like actually not painted some color. So this is my shade. I love cream foundations. I love them on clients. I think in terms of coverage, depending on what you obviously want and what the set is and you know whatever the look is, um, I think cream foundations are pretty generally the most broadly accommodating of textures because you can you know mix them with moisturizer and just sheer it out. You can build it up. You can really let it sink into the skin. I just I love a good cream foundation. So I really wanted to try theirs because I never had. And, you know, it's not, I don't think it's too challenging to find. I just had never seen it where I could swatch it and really play with it. So I was really eager to try this. And then I also got um, something which you can get anywhere, but I just don't own it. And I had expressed interest in getting it, so I figured I'd just do it while I was there. Which is the MAC Fix Plus. Um, Rachel's obsessed with this smell. She, like, smells it every day and loves it, but... It says it's a skin refresher, finishing mist. A lot of people use it for moisturizing the skin. If you have like a drier skin type and you want to set your makeup, a lot of people use Fix Plus for that. I actually have interest in using it more for pigments, more for uh, loose shadows, anything that needs to stick and not have a lot of fallout, whatever the case may be. Um, it's going to be really handy come like Halloween. If I have time to do Halloween tutorials this year, just wait because that's kind of my th I love to do like weird ass makeup ask the people that were with me at IMATS yesterday those were the booths that I was gravitating towards but um yeah so it's just kind of like an all-purpose mist if you will but it is for, at least in my for, for my forte it's a lot better for pigment and a lot less a setting a skin finishing or a setting spray if that makes sense 
so okay, so that's next. And then I got uh, I got a really beautiful liner. It's a Technicolor, excuse me, it's a Technicol liner in plank, which is a brown. It's this, it's that dude. Okay, I don't like this angle because the colors do not come across. That comes across redder than it really is. It's a it's a really good kind of neutral brown. That's about right. This is like a perfect color if you're going to do like a bombshell look. If you're like a Bardot inspired eye, an Audrey Hepburn eye, like a very, you know, Brexit Tiffany's eye. This is a great liner for your lower lash line. So you could do that full wing and make that, that top line look really gorgeous and like huge sweep. And then you can do this on the bottom and it just pulls that whole eye out. But the lower line doesn't compete with the upper line. It's these are those natural Bambi eyes um, that the black liner just can't replicate. So I thought this was just a great thing to have in my kit. I know I'm going to use it quite a bit, but I love it's, I think it's really hard to find a brown that can really do that. You have to typically mix like a, I typically do like a, a liner with a shadow. And I just, I saw this and I swatched it. And it is just the perfect color brown. Next up, I got a lip glass in Viva Glam 6. I don't think I own a lot of Viva Glams. If, I think I might have bought like a couple when they first started just because I really like the campaign. I really like the, the um, I really like the charity and everything but this color I just thought was gorgeous it's uh, how do I kind of dusty rose with some shimmer in it you see that I just think that's so pretty so this is Viva Glam 6 and I don't have this color specifically especially the texture of a lip glass I know a lot of people don't really like the texture of lip glass, but they do serve a very good function. So I thought it would just be a good thing to have. Uh, the other thing I bought, probably the thing that I was most excited about and I didn't even know existed, was their gold glitter. If you watch Rachel's vlog, her uh, what she wore to eye match, she had this on her eye. And it looks like this. It's just a loose glitter. Fix Plus will be great for this. I don't know how to use it just to help it fall out. But it is so pretty, and I just needed to have it. I think it'll be great, especially come Halloween tutorial time, um, holidays, anything like that. I love having glitters, especially like in my kit and stuff, because like every once in a while I'll do like a kid's makeup for like a recital or something, and it's amazing to me suddenly how many people are like, oh, can you do like a butterfly wig on the side of my kid's face? And it's like, when did that start? But it's nice to have, and they're they're glitters are stunning so the next thing I got was the super slick liquid eyeliner and this is in the color pure show it is gold and also gorgeous and I mean it's in between plank and beautifully M6 you see that just beautiful and I cannot wait to play with this what are you doing? Adelaide's behind me. I cannot wait to play with this color. This is going to be like, I think this with like a Viva Glam 6 and a really good kind of smoky eye would just be a stunning look, especially come like like uh, like 65 degree weather when you can actually do makeup and not to worry about sweating off, but you can still go punchy with colors and stuff. Beautiful. When the weather warms up a little bit and people are actually doing spring looks, gorgeous. This Pro Sculpting Cream in Copper Beach. I've always wanted to try one of their Pro Sculpting Creams. Just I've heard a lot about them. A lot of the makeup artists I know that use them and, and like them. And I know like for example, Mac was the makeup used on Black Swan, so I know like a lot of the Pro products were used there. And you know some of the things have always kind of caught my eye, and I just wanted to see them in person before I even bought them. But this is Copper Beach. It's just a good contour. It does, I did try this already. It does melt into the skin really well and sculpt out your face depending on what you want to look like. It does pull on me. I'll always pull gold. So on me, it comes across golder. I'm sure if you put this on Rachel or Vanessa, the bombshell sweet, they're browner naturally than I am. So it'll go more brown. But I do like the fact that it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily compete with your with your natural skin tone, you know. So 
I tend to color correct a lot, but I'll always pull gold as opposed to brown or, you know, like that really truly cool shade. I always go warmer. I'm really eager to try this out and really play with this. All right, the last thing I bought at MAC was an eyeshadow. This is in Sumptuous Olive. I just got the pan of it. I didn't get the whole thing, but let me show it to you. It's just the really pretty gold olivey color. This is literally one of my favorite shadows. See if you can see it better. This is just one of my favorite shades in general. Like I just think you it I honestly think it's one of the better colors to put on skin. I don't think anybody looks bad in olive or gold. Um, there were that combination thereof. It just warms the skin beautifully. It, it doesn't compete with the tone of the skin. It's a very neutral statement, if you will. And I think uh, a lot of people get nervous around green and olive and stuff like that. Especially, the other thing is a lot of people get nervous around like a metallic like a gold or silver because they're very aware of like, well, I look better in gold or I look better in silver. I look better in whatever. But if you put gold makeup on it just warms it up really nicely and if you pair it with an olive I just think that combination is heaven on almost anybody I can't I honestly I'm trying to think of a, of a coloring that I've put it on where it didn't look good and even like really 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 fair redheads with freckles they still can wear it really nice because it doesn't compete with anything and it warms up that fair you know it really warms up their skin to where they have some more uh, like kind of natural contour it doesn't look heavy it doesn't have to look too much um, it's kind of like a nice safe color but I feel like a lot of people overlook it because they just don't really know how to use it and it's really easy I'm so excited to do some summer tutorials for you guys because I have so much inspiration so that was from the Mac Pro store and I, and I kind of think I did a good job because I wanted to except for like the fix plus which I just said you know what I'm here might as well just do it um, it was all pretty much stuff that I, I can't find at my max and I just and that was kind of the main goal was I didn't want to buy anything that I could buy at home you know I wasn't gonna go to like the drugstore or something um, and buy like L'Oreal if I can find it at home so if they have like an exclusive then that's a different story now the next thing I got we went to dream dry and I didn't actually buy anything from dream dry because everything that he, was recommended to me. I already had like I already had the Orbe dry texturizing spray, but they gave me the bag, which I thought was really sweet. Um, I love this bag actually. It's the kind of the same texture as the Sephora VIB bag that they gave away last year, and they're just really handy to have for look. They're really handy to have just for whatever. I think I put my lunch in here a couple of times. Take to work. I've put as a change of clothes, anything like that. They're just handy to have around. Um, then we went out on Saturday to Sephora, actually on our way up to Bergdorf Goodman, we had manicure appointments that day and I needed to buy nail polish. Uh, and I was really looking for chrome, but I couldn't find it. So I got the closest thing I could, which is this color here. And it's by Sephora. It's a Sephora X collection. And this is the color Shocked. And this was 11.50. And then I got this color because I thought it was really pretty and I'm always, always pulled towards these colors. This is also a Sephora X collection, but this is called Explosive and it is this gorgeous gold and black and green glitter that I just think is so pretty and I cannot wait to play with this thing. How pretty is that, right? Um, and then I got, they had the 100 points, the Stila convertible color and peony and I just have never had one of these I think I had one like years and years and years ago but I don't remember it I mean we're talking like years ago when they kind of first came out and I don't remember it so I figured I'd get one and try it out and see if I like it and then I got this too because they only sell these in New York right now and I had really wanted to try this I had heard really good reviews on this and I'm always looking for a really great volumizing mousse. This is by Dry Bar, which is that blow dry bar that's really big out in LA. They have a couple in New York. It's called Southern Bell. I'm gonna keep that in the video. 
I love you. I love you. Um, what are you doing? You want to take Adelaide and Roxy? It's hot as fuck. Yeah, because you have no windows open, and it's 77 degrees in this apartment. Hey, Big Ed. We'll go outside? Yes. Ooh. You have my attention. I have Roxy still, right? This is right there. Alright, we'll leave her in here and you take Adelaide. Roxy cat. Okay. Roxy cat. Okay. Um, I had heard really great things about this brand, like their products, and they're new. And I knew they were New York City exclusive. And when we were at the Sephora on Fifth Avenue, walking to Bergdorf's, I, it's, we stopped and seen it and we're like, oh, let's see if we can find chrome nail polish. That didn't happen. But I did see these and they had everything. They had the tools, they had every product. But this is the one that I know I don't have a product. I don't have a lot of mousses and most of what I do have are like trial sizes. Um, and I was just really eager to try this. So I figured it's the best, I mean, it's the best time to do it. So. Um, I will let you guys know how this goes. Hopefully it winds up in a favorites video, but I have a lot of high hopes for this because I kept reading the reviews. Um, I have a couple of friends who've been to Dry Bar and they they really enjoyed it. And But they were all in LA once. I've heard the New York ones aren't as good. But we went to Dream Dry and I'm telling you what, that place is amazing. It is so, so worth it. Uh, we had I had Ian who did my hair and I put him in my vlog and then Rachel had Olivia and Rachel's hair looked incredible as well. So um, I'm just, truthfully, I could not recommend that place enough. They are fantastic. They give you champagne, they wash your hair, they do it. They're just the nicest people. So I was really, really, really happy with that. Okay, so then we went to Bergdorf's. And we went for two reasons. We went for Tom Ford and we went for Kevin Aquan because none of my stores have a Tom Ford or Kevin Aquan and neither do any of Rachel's. And I don't feel like driving to like God knows where to find one. And Rachel, I mean like I, can, I can't even find one in King of Prussia. And Rachel's closest one I think is in DC. So we were said, you know what, let's just walk it. Let's just figure this out, let's just get it over with. So we, luckily we, we really struck gold at uh, Bergdorf Goodman. And how cute is this bag? Okay, so the one thing that I really wanted from Ber Kevin Kwan was I wanted the central skin enhancer and I know that they that they don't tell you to get just one they typically tell you to buy two because your skin isn't just one color and what he did was he mimicked tones of skin and not general like one note faces so I kind of like I walked in knowing I was going to buy two of these things but I didn't realize how easy it was to get color match and the woman that we had helping us was named Barla and she was First off, absolutely gorgeous. She's from LA. She's beautiful, dark hair. Her lashes look fake and they're not. Just stunning woman. Um, and I am number seven and number 13. Seven's whiter, 13 is darker, blended together. Um, I, it's actually what I have on my face today. And I can honestly tell you that I have probably tried uh, not every cream foundation, obviously, but a fair amount. And I've never had anything just melt into my skin the way these do. They're fantastic. And you need the tiniest, tiniest bit. Which is something that I also really look for with cream foundation. Because most creams don't spread very well. You typically kind of have to work it in sections. And this just boom, boom, boom. It's almost like a liquid. The way it just kind of spreads out, melts into your skin. But the coverage is 100% cream coverage. It is beautiful on skin. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm so happy that we got to find these and kind of play in person and really see the product. Oh my God, so happy about that. And then we went to Tom Ford and I got, this is a rose gold lip gloss and honestly, I think I left, I left it in the other room. It's called Pink Guilt. I'll swatch it and then put it in the video later. Um, and then I got Flamingo, which is a lip color. And let me show you the packaging. First off, it looks like jewelry. I mean, it totally does. And then here's a little TF at the top. And then look at the lipstick. Oh, God. So beautiful. And I'll swatch it for you. 
that's the color I bought, which is a beautifully kind of corally pink. It's not the blue pink that I normally go for, but the pigmentation of it and the creaminess to it, it's almost like, I'm try I can't honestly think of another lipstick that has this formulation and still has the pigmentation to it, but doesn't have the move. Um, it does have a lot of weight to it, so if you like a lighter gloss, if you like a stain or something, you probably won't like the way this feels. But I would urge you to go, if you ever get an opportunity to go and swatch it and kind of play with it, do. Because I like the feel of a lipstick with some weight to it. You know, it's got some cling, it's got some hold, it's not going to go anywhere. But you also are very much aware that you have a lipstick on. You know, like it's, you're not going to like put it on and forget about it. Um, and if you like that, then you'll like these. But they're just beautiful colors. Um, I've never seen a formulation like this. That's probably the thing that I was most excited about was this lipstick, just or, or like a Tom Ford lipstick. And swatching them, I put a picture of all my swatches in my vlog. So if you want to see it, go see my vlog. Um, but I love the fact that it has dimension to it. And on the mouth, it feels... It doesn't feel drying. It doesn't feel like it's going to strip moisture. Um, it doesn't feel like it's going to cake or crease or like, you know, wind up in the triangles of your lips. By no means does it have a one note color. You know how when you see hair, like like colored hair in the light, and depending on where the light hits it is the dimension that it shows? This is kind of the same way. It just has a lot of dimension to it. It's beautiful lipstick. I think it's totally worth it. And I just think, you know, A, it's going to last you a really long time because you don't need a whole lot. But it's just... Hi. I need clothes. Okay. You can give me dirty looks all you want. Try to get dressed. All right. A, it's like looking at jewelry. It's just beautiful. B, there's just you can't find a product similar to that that I've seen anywhere else. And I am like an encyclopedia when it comes to department store makeup. Okay. And then they also she gave me some samples of perfume, which I'm really excited about, and I cannot pronounce this at all. But I got that one. I got this one, and I got this one. Mm -hmm. And if you get a chance to go to the New York uh, Bergdorf Goodman, go to the bathroom on the beauty level and say hi to Bernadette. She is she's the bathroom attendant, and she will bust a move and like talk sexy talk to you, and it's hilarious. She's in my vlog. She cracked me up, and it's like totally unexpected. So go tell her I said hi.